In this case of mature cataract with nystagmus, I'm using the femto laser to our advantage in order to capture this constantly moving eye as you can see the movement of the eye and the speculum all the time and difficulty also in fixating due to poor vision from the mature cataract. I'm waiting for the moment where I can absolutely center this eye close enough that I can apply suction. And here we are. I now have suction on and I'm happy with the centration. I am now aligning the LRI axis along the predetermined marks getting ready for the laser. The femto laser application now begins and you can see the capsular axis in progress and it always impresses me with the consistency in such cases of mature cataract. Capsular axis is now complete. You can see the LRI being completed and suction off. For teaching purposes, I'm using Tripan Blue in this case, that's an air bubble. I now inject Tripan Blue under the air bubble, starting in the center in a controlled fashion, and then I kind of paint the capsule to make sure the main area is stained. Using viscoelastic, I exchange the air bubble, and in most cases, the capsular excess will come out. It did not here, so I'm concerned about the completion. While entering, I depress the incision to remove the air bubble, which could cause an optical illusion at the edge while I'm checking with the utrata in a radial fashion to complete the rexus and bring out this portion of the capsule to check completion. With a specially designed hydrodissection cannula, I now gently dissect and complete phaco emulsification uneventfully when I notice a thick epinuclear plate of cortex which I am able to remove with irrigation aspiration on one side but it's difficult to remove on this side as it is snug with the posterior capsule. In these cases of thin posterior capsule with a large flail bag I rather use my intraocular lens platform technique where I inject viscoelastic to inflate the bag and retract the cortex and now I'm injecting the lens where I help it unfold close to its predetermined axis while also gliding it to open under the cortex. I'm confirming the lens implant to be completely under this cortical material and I will demonstrate by scratching the cortex right here to make sure it's above the lens implant. I'm now ready for irrigation aspiration with excellent confidence since I have my implant protecting the very flail posterior capsule while I can raise the vacuum to remove all the cortex and epinuclear material sub-incisionally while also rocking the eye side to side to look for any escaped fragments. Case complete and next day post-op and you see this patient day one post-op with unaided 20-25 vision with nystagmus. Very pleased with his outcomes. Hi Jim, how are you? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So we did your surgery yesterday, you had a mature white cataract and we did with the femto laser. How do you feel today? I feel very good. Yes? Can you see anything at all? I'm seeing very well. Fantastic. How do you know? Tell me what do you see. Because we looked at the eye chart. Okay. Well, 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 well. Come please, let's take a look. I'm actually seeing better with the operator eye than the other one. Fantastic. Come chin in please. Very nice. So. Lens is in place, cornea crystal clear, healing has already started. You see the laser cuts and the laser axis here. Very nice. Sit back, please. Congratulations, it been a real pleasure. Thank yeah, you. Pleasure. My name is Jim Wilson. I've been in the op optical industry forever. Um, I had a very mature white cataract, uh, which blinded my right eye. and. Dr. Gulani, by using laser technology, was able to remove that mature white cataract. I would, went to see a retinal specialist, and he said he had never seen a cataract like that except in a textbook. My result is very good. I came out with unaided vision of 20-25 in that eye, and I'm now on my way back to work. Thank you.